Hello friends, in the last video we discussed about limitations of natural selection. You can refer my video, the link is given in the description box. Today we are going to discuss about patterns of evolution. We all know that species are exposed to several factors. Among them the most common are environmental factors and predators. And under the influence of these environmental factors and predators and several other factors, the species undergo evolution or these factors leads to evolution of the species. That is, these undergoes modification in order to get adapted to these factors. Over time, evolution follows several different patterns and with the time, Different patterns are seen in the evolution. These patterns are obtained by plotting morphological changes that occur through time. So when we plot morphological changes through time, then we get different patterns of evolution. First, we will discuss about three basic patterns of evolution. One is convergent evolution, second divergent evolution and third parallel evolution. So first is convergent evolution. When there is similar morphology among unrelated species of separate lineage under similar environmental influence. So when species are under the influence of same environmental factors then these shows similar morphology. This is known as convergent evolution. This is one species, parent species A, and this is the other parent species B. These are of different species or different lineage. When these are under the influence of similar environmental factors, then these undergoes evolution Parent A evolves into species 1 and parent B evolves into species 2 and these show certain similarity or these show similar morphology. This is known as convergent evolution. Convergent evolution results in analogous structure. What are analogous structures or analogous organs? Organs which appear similar and perform similar function but their basic structure and origin is different are known as analogous structures or analogous organs. Example is streamlined body of sharks, dolphins and penguins which help them swim in water. So sharks are fish, dolphins are mammals and penguins are bird. But these are under the similar environmental influence that is water. So these are of different species. So in order to swim, these have the streamlined body. Second example is wings and birds, bats and flies. These are of different species, but all of them has wings which help them fly. So this is also an example of convergent evolution. Now the second is divergent evolution. When two or more species that are related become more and more different or dissimilar then this is known as divergent evolution that is these species becomes dissimilar under the influence of different environmental factors and this results in diversification of closely related species to new species this is the parent species and under different environmental influence these diverge into two different species species one and species two these shows dissimilarity and this is known as the divergent evolution. It results in homologous structures or organs. Homologous structures are those structures or organs which have different appearance and different functions but similar origin and basic structure. Example four limbs of bats, frogs, birds and humans. These perform different functions. Bats use their forelimbs for flying, frogs for jumping, birds for flying and humans for movement. And their appearance is also different but these have the similar basic structure and origin. It shows that these have evolved from the common ancestors. 
life on earth diversified by this process which is currently seen so life on earth which is seen currently have diversified by this process that is divergent evolution so one of the famous example is the darwin finches of galapagos islands these darwin finches have migrated from the mainland to the galapagos island 13 different species of finches have been observed in galapagos islands it is the group of islands so these finches occupied different habitat and then evolved into different species depending upon the different hab habitat their diet change hence the change in the shape and structure of the beak reflects their diet third is parallel evolution under the influence of similar environmental opportunities or requirements when two or more unrelated species that is of distinct lineages evolve along similar lines they evolve independently of each other but due to similar environmental influence maintain same level of similarity that is exhibit similar morphological changes or require similar characteristics they do not occupy the same or similar niche in a given habitat so let us understand this with the figure this is parent species a this evolves in species 1 parent species b evolves into species 2 so these are evolving under the same environmental influence and at same time but these evolve independent of each other and also these do not occupy similar niche in a habitat in addition to these three patterns some species evolve in relation to each other in other ways in this one of the most important is coevolution when pairs of species or group of species interact with one another resulting in reciprocal evolutionary change then it is known as coevolution it means that when two species interact with each other so evolution of one species results in the evolution of the other species and vice versa this is known as coevolution each species that participates in the interaction their activity applies selection pressure on the other so if there are two species which interacts then first species applies the selection pressure on the second species and, and second species applies the selection pressure on the first species species having close ecological interactions with one another undergoes coevolution as predator prey host parasite competitive species and mutualistic species let us see some examples evolutionary change in the morphology of a plant effect morphology of herbivore that eats the plant this in turn affect the evolutionary change in the plant which then affect the evolution of herbivore which then again affect the evolution of plant and so on this is known as coevolution so here evolution of plant results in the evolution of herbivore and evolution of herbivore then results in the evolution of plant in a predator prey interaction faster predators eat relatively slower prey hence faster ones are selected these reproduce and pass the genes to the next generation therefore it results in the emergence of faster prey and it goes on now faster the prey results in the relatively faster predators which then results in the evolution of faster prey and it goes on so the evolution of the predators results in the evolution of the prey and the evolution of the prey results in the evolution of the predators and it goes on so this is all for today's video if you like this video please hit the like button share it and subscribe my channel thank you